I'm looking at the instructions for how to install Apache Ant. You know, I previously downloaded it and unpacked it, but I didn't go through the instructions to complete the install. That's what I want to try to do now, and I want to try to do that in the SIGWIN shell. So start the SIGWIN terminal, and you can see what I have. Um, I've done this before, and I want to show you what I did, so let me get rid of my work. It's a reasonable size directory. Okay, so the first thing is that I want to uh, decompress ant. I have to say xf to decompress it. And it's a reasonable size, so it'll take a minute. And it will create a directory named Apache Ant-194. And after it does that, I want to rename that to something shorter. I have another file that I prepared to show you called SourceMe, and I'll do that after we finish the unpacking. So making a shorter name will make it easier for um, working with in later steps. I'll probably want to do the same thing with IV and Maven as I'm doing here. Okay, so now I have this new directory called Apache Ant and I'm going to rename that by just moving it Ant194 to something called Ant. Now you can see I just have something called Ant with a capital A. Now let's look at this source me. This is a cute trick. It has three lines which set environment variables. And now the first environment variable and the second one name the places where ant is located, that's ant home, and java home. And I'm using the peculiar syntax that um, Sigwin uses referring to system folders outside of its own root, which is starting with sig drive, and then C program files and so forth. The ant home is just what I have created. And then I've taken the path, that's the system path where all the executables um, are located, and I've appended that with a new executable directory, which is the bin directory inside of ant. So that should make uh, executables search for the ant command. So the trick here is to say source, and that's a shell command which says take a file that I name and run everything in it as if I had typed it in. And if that worked, we should see something called ant home. And we do. And it says home, Ted Herman, ant. And if I see there's ant, but what's the full name? You can see that the full directory name starting from root would be slash home, Ted Herman, and then within that ant. With an ant, there's a bin inside of it. Okay, what about path? Okay, the path ends with something blah 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 ant min. So it should find the ant command. And unfortunately something went wrong. It expected to find tools.jar inside of the C colon program files Java JRE lib folder and it didn't. And I think that um, Oracle has messed up the, the way they've installed. And so I previously looked this up on, on uh, the web and someone suggested I may be able to copy it from the, from the development folder to the runtime folder. So let me see if I can do that right now and fix this. I'm not sure. I haven't tried this. So what I would do is go to the computer, go to my C drive, go inside of program files, and then inside of Java. And you can see I have the development kit and then the runtime. I'm going to see if in the runtime is where it, or I can't find it. I'm going to see if it's in the development folder. Inside of lib is where most of the jars are. And there is a tools, and you can see its type is executable jar file. So I'm going to 
copy this. And then go back up to the JRE and inside of its lib and I'm not sure but let's see where Sigwin expected to find it. It's expected to find it into the runtime inside the lib just there, lib toolstar. So it, it looks like, get this stuff out of the way, that right here I should have tools.jar so I'll try pasting it. Uh, I think I'm okay. All right, so now I have the tools jar file in the place where the ant command wanted it. Let's try ant. Okay, so that fixed that problem but we still don't have what it really is expecting, which is it's expecting some file with a description of a project in it. And I don't have that. But furthermore, I don't think I have a lot of the prerequisites that Ant is going to need to fully function. And that's because I skipped a step, which is step five here. So now let me slide that step five says to run a command inside of the Ant directory. It's maybe tiny print and you can't read it, but if you log in, you'll be able to see it just fine. So get into the ant directory. Let's see what I have. I have this fetch.xml. That's a list of dependencies. So all I will have to do is run this command. I'm just copying from the web page. And now it's downloading from somewhere on the internet, copying files into the library. They, I think there are lots of zip files and jar files, and it finished. So I think uh, we're all set up with AMP now. And that really is all we can do with AMP at the moment. I really should do the same thing with Ivy and Maven. They might have similar kinds of installations.